There we go. Ooh, I gotta mute that. Let's make that stop. Oh, we turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. There we go. I think. Yeah. A little, still a little loud. See, I'm learning stuff. Where is the mute? Oh no, because I can hear the volume. Okay, so we're working on this. We're working on this. It might be a little. Okay, so we're figuring this out. It uh, is new, right? What I'm trying to do is through StreamYard have a second camera. And the way I thought that I can make it work is to run that second camera over through a mobile device. So we'll see how it plays out. Can you hear feedback? Everything sound good? Is it bad? Give me your feedback on that because that'll kind of dictate the stuff. As you can see, we're in the office. Uh, as you can see, there's Roxy right there. Dirk's right behind me. There's stuff that Dirk was printing today. We've got, uh, you know what? I don't think we've ever named our press. Now that I think about it, I'll have to ask Corey about that. So, hello, everybody. Welcome to another fun edition of Tuesday with Todd. This being the fabulous June 16th. I hope you are all having an amazing day. Uh, we're having a good day here. Uh, we've got our sample stuff in. Uh, we are live on the website. Oh, I guess I can turn off this banner, right? We'll get rid of that. Um, we can uh, we can do samples. So yeah, uh, we've got a few things going on. We've got five different masks. We've got a little one, and we've got little ones and big ones. Uh, little ones and big ones. Some with a black rim, a black edging. Some with no edging. Um, so you can do full bleed on the 3D mask. So we're going to press them all tonight. We're going to see how it goes. And then we're going to have Aaron is going to draw a winner to win a sample pack. Now, you're asking yourself, how do I enter to get this sample pack? I'm going to tell you, because we're going to draw it at the end, so it gives you plenty of time to sign up for it. If you go to, let me let me pull up the little link, linky poo poo here. And one of the things we're other going to try is on the 3D mask, I'm going to do one on each side, but I'm also going to go ahead and um, try and do a folded method to see if that works because, hey, that's all part of it, right? So if you have not signed up for our email list, I just posted it in the comments so that way you can see where it is. I can also put it, I can, I can make a quick, uh, quick banner here. And we'll show that. If you go to bit.ly slash OSG sign up, that gets you on the email list. And uh, from there, it gets you kind of in our system. Whereas, thank you for signing up for that. We're going to register you in, register you or enter you in to win a sample pack of all these sublimation masks. Now, you see you don't do sublimation because you don't have a printer. Well, a little birdie told me that um, there should be a sublimation printer delivered to our very own Aaron Montgomery here any day now. Uh, and he's going to be able to take care of all of your sublimation needs. So just because you don't have a printer doesn't mean you can't do sublimation because you can buy transfers and press them. So that is one of the services that he's going to offer. I'm sure he's going to tell you all about it. Uh, we also uh, added to the family yesterday was, was a DTG machine. Now, if you don't know what a DTG is, that is a direct garment. Tune in tomorrow for a great episode of Q&A with TNA. Well, we're going to talk about it because after we mentioned that we we're going to have a DTG welcome to the family, uh, Aaron is doing his uh, his best. To, you know, you know, Aaron, he's a numbers guy, crunching numbers, getting everything in there, and he's going to you know be able to give you the ins and outs of it, tell you more about it, and you know we got some good questions from it, so that'll be very fun tomorrow. So let's get all the hellos out of the way. Uh, I see Renee. Hello, Renee. It feels like forever. Uh, for the you, those of you that don't know, um, rarely do we go two days without FaceTiming, and I think it's been like four for Renee and I, uh, because you know it's summer. Things are going on. Uh, she's busy. I'm busy, and and in and out, and this whole you know still COVID going on, where we're not back at a hundred percent, kind of throws things you know for a loop. So uh, you know it, it's weird not having that there. If you, no clue who you are. So if you come up as a Facebook user, you have a couple options. You can go to liveosg.com to catch the YouTube link. 
That'll get you in there. We'll be able to see who you are. Or if you go to StreamYard.com slash Facebook and give them permission, then you, I'll be able to see you, allegedly. Not always happens. Sometimes Facebook has a couple weird things that go in and out of it. So we'll do, uh, we'll do our best. But if you head to LiveOSG.com, that gets you into the YouTube channel. Like and subscribe there. Uh, so if you're watching on YouTube, uh, go ahead, hit the like, subscribe button, so that way anytime we go live, you're able to see us and see what we're doing and see what's going on and, and get all this fun information out there. Because as you know, we have Tuesdays with Todd every Tuesday, 5 p.m. back at its normal regular spot now, 5 p.m., 5 p.m., 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Every other Wednesday at uh, 5 p.m. is Q&A with TNA. Uh, right on liveosg.com, and on Saturday mornings at 8 a.m., you have these are all Central Times. You have Small Business Saturday Day with Aaron. So hit the like, subscribe button. You'll be able to see all those. And remember, you don't have to watch these live. We much appreciate it, but we really love when people catch it on the replay because that means they're you know they're going back and watching it. At any time, ask questions. We'll go ahead and get those answers for you. Except on Q and A with TNA, you gotta hit the button to. Uh, I let me show that there. And we will get to that uh, Q&A going where that needs to go in because that is OurSuccessGroup.com slash QA, which I know that there is a little banner button in here somewhere. I know we've put it in here before, right? Mm, there it is. So if you go to OurSuccessGroup.com slash QA, ask all your questions there. We'll be able to answer them for you. Always a fun show when we do those. We always say it's going to be 15 minutes to half hour. Yeah, it always goes long. One day we'll get, one day, one day maybe. But now that we're doing it every two weeks, it might be a little, you know, it might be a little fun. So Facebook user, hello. Valerie, good to see you. Valerie is posting stuff on her Facebook page, so everybody definitely give Valerie a good hand for that. Sounds good, absolutely. Would you rather have us watch Facebook or OSG Link? I don't care. I just enjoy the fact that you're watching because you're taking time of your day to watch us, and that means the world to us. Some people are anti-Facebook, so they want YouTube. Other people don't really care for YouTube, and they want to watch on Facebook. By us, we're able to spread it across there. Yeah, that way you're able to get the information. Where what I would like, though, is if you go over, if you are on the YouTube channels, to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, so that way you can see them come up there. Valerie says she can hear me just fine. I'm watching on YouTube. Great. Are you getting any echo? Because I can still hear that little guy over there. I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, but oh. You know what I can do, but I, they're not here uh, because I don't think anybody has any more headphones. If I throw headphones in that, then I would not be able to hear it there. So we got that. Sandy, good to see you. South and Owls, what's going on? We got there. Where is there? I know there is Aaron. The 3D should be fun. Fold in half. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to do uh, one pattern there, and then I'm going to fold in half and see how it goes. Kelly, great to see you. Super happy for you today that you were able to find that app that worked with Equid. So now you were like crazy fun, right? So that is always a, a win for you there. Uh, what else uh, do we have going on? Look super clear. Hey, yeah, the, all right, not bad for the laptop. I'll take it. And I think the, the other camera is even better. I need a producer. I know. If you know a good producer, let me know. Um, there's this guy, Aaron, I usually use, you know, but he is, you know, up to his elbows on work, so he can't really get in here all the time. And we'll go from there. Allegedly. Absolutely. Oh, snap. DTG. Yes. That uh, that I can say for sure, because I've seen pictures of it loaded in the house. I've seen it dropped off, so I know that's there. Sublimation printer. It's coming. <laughs> we shall see. It's coming. Jerry, good to see you as well. And you tried calling you there? You did? I was outside. Did you see my mobile office? I was in the golf cart. Uh, the kid, Corey, went and got her hair did today. Why she did that, I was at the house, and it was a gorgeous day outside. So, uh, you know, I grabbed an extension cord, and I had the laptop in the golf cart, and I just worked outside. It, it was kind of nice. It started to heat up a little, so it was it was great. Okay. Now, let's talk sublimation. Now, am I a sublimation expert? Some may say, some may say, I don't know anything about it. I feel I have a good grasp of it. Uh, there's always people that are going to know more about it me, know more about it than me. So I will never claim to know everything about it. I will only claim to know that here's what works for me. Now, this may not work for you. One of the things to remember with sublimation is that every press is different. So the time and pressure that may work for me may not work for you. 
So that's where a lot of testing comes in. You're going to burn through sublimation blanks. It's just, it's just part of the game. Don't get discouraged by it because it's part of it. You need to know, hey, is this going to work? Is this not going to work? You know, this is the pressure they said that. Everything is you know, based on a guide. So you, you start at this and you move from there. Uh, for these face masks, these face masks here, we're going 375 for 45 seconds. That's what I found the sweet spot to be. About um, medium to firm pressure, good to go so far. Haven't ran into any issues. Uh, first ones went great. We're going to see. I could screw this all up tonight, and we're going to learn something and go from there. Hey, things happen when you do things live. So there are five sizes. And let me put up the link to where you will find these at. Uh, you will find these at montco.biz. So we'll make that a little, how's that, a little scroll across there. Boom. So if you go to montco.biz, ooh, so let's see. I, could probably, I bet I could even make this a little better, right? For face covers, go to montco.biz. There. Look at that. Amazing. So if you go there, you'll get it. Now, there's five different types. Now, we'll show those to you. First up is we got a youth full bleed. Okay. Now, in the youth full bleed, you will get these little guys. Now, I have done a little research to find out that these little guys are not heat safe. So try not to. Now, each one will come sealed. So you're, you're good to go there. Um, and you can see, if you go to the website, you will see all the dimensions for everything, so that's on there. Two-ply, there you go. They have a opening for a filter. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see that. They have an opening for a filter. They come with these little guys, two of them, which are the, the, uh, the adjusters, the rubber adjusters. You're able to slap those on there, and you can make these. They go, they go pretty slick. They're thicker on one end and smaller on the other, so you throw it through the thick end, the hole there, it'll hold it, and so you can make them as small as you need to. So, there is the youth size. Now, for, we'll grab the next one here. So those are the youth ones. The large ones, or the adult, depending on what you want to call it. Oh, one thing on, on these ones, um, cost of these, is going to start off at 650. Now you can buy these individually or up to packs of 50. If you go to the website, you'll see the pricing. Prices start at 650 individuals, drop down from there depending on quantity. Next up is we have the adult full bleed. Now, bigger, as you can see, bigger, same thing, sealed, good to go. Same thing, adjusters. So you get the adjusters with those as well. This one, also, full bleed, pocket for a filter, adjusters that go in there. Now, this one is, let me just double check to make sure I have the correct pricing on this. Uh, too large. These ones are seven. So, singly, they start at seven, and then they go in packs of five, 20, or 50. Uh, at 50, they are 450 a piece. So, in stock, uh, 490 of them, we have them in stock. As we sell out, we'll be able to get more in there. So definitely order through the website. <clears throat> They'll ship as soon as tomorrow for you. So these ones, large, full bleed. Next up, ooh, this guy wants to come. So let's just go right here to the next guy. Next up, we have black edged ones. Now the black edged ones, a few things about this one. Black edge, if you look at it here, you can see it has the, the, I know this is going to sound really dumb, but it has the black edge around it, right? Black edge. This one, there it is. Oh, I was like, what is that? It's the, it's the mask. So here's this pretty simple black edge all the way around. Does not have the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the, uh, Oh, what's those things called? The adjusters. Does not have the adjusters on it. So these ones are standard like this without the adjusters. These ones are three layer. So it's triple layer in there. 
material, 100% white polyester, um, black edge around it. So not shabby. I think I, I think I'm showing these well enough. Not shabby there. That's a small one. Comes in its own little package. Large, same way. Now this large one, and I'm going to have Aaron verify for me or double check. But this large one does have the adjusters. Now I know um, that some of them do not have it. So it might just be that the small one does not have the adjuster, but the large one does. Same thing, triple layer, black edged, 100% poly. Next up is, where did that guy go? Where'd you go, guy? Where'd you go, guy? Guy, there it is. Okay, so, and last, but certainly not least, is the 3D one. Pretty, pretty cool. I, I like this guy. Um, let me pull, let me check questions before I move on, because I should probably do that between each one. Does anybody have any questions as we're going through them? I can go back. We can see what's going on. Uh, hello, Heidi. Good to see you. Uh, who else is right there? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Rena, hello. Tanya, hello. And just passed 100 subscribers. Mm, look at that. See, we just got to keep pushing it, and then we get it. Valerie, we will always encourage you. You know that. We're here for you. Ooh, on fire. Yes. And Kylene set it up as we speak. Good news here, there. Um, am I in OBS? No. I'm actually using StreamYard. So that's what we usually use to broadcast. And I hadn't figured out um, th how to add a second camera to it. And then it hit me. Hmm. I can go ahead and just invite myself through a mobile device. So I have the iPad sitting over there. Now... I will need to put plugs, earplugs in it if I'm going to do this again, so that way I don't hear it. But so far, so good. Uh, let's see, Mo, hello. Uh, you may try it. I need to get on, get on one of them for sure. Oh yeah, OBS is, is great. Streamyard is, is great too. Streamyard does everything we needed to do so far. This was the only hangup that I had seen, and I fixed it. So I think it, it worked out pretty well for us. Sarah, Sarah's just getting in. Sarah has some masks going out to her today. She bought me out of my stalls once, and now there is no more stalls left in my building. So what a fun ride that was. Thank you, Sarah, for taking care of that. Uh, can we purchase the adjuster separately? That is a great question, Aaron. Um, well, I'll defer to Aaron on that one, if the adjusters can be purchased separately, because I do not know. And so we will find out. Uh, the small has a bigger binding adjustment would not fit is what Beth said, told me last night. There you go. See? All right. 3D sounds interesting. So 3D, 3D it is because I think we're caught up on everything. So on the 3D one, like I said, they're all going to come individually packaged. 3D. This one has three adjusters in it. Woo! It's like the lottery, right? 3D adjusters. So on this one, one of the things that I did on my first tester was I didn't real I did not pay attention to which side was north and south, uh, up or down, however you want to say it. I think north and south helps me out there. But here is the 3D one. 3D one. This is north, and you can tell it has north because it has a metal binding in it. So you can make that form fitting as you want. Form fitting there. It also has a pocket for a filter as you can see through there. I guess I could be trying these on for you so you could see how, how they look, right? So there's this one, form fitting. So this one's gonna be fun to press because you do have the center seam in it. So center seams, we know seams are always fun. Seams are great. Um, as you can see, boom, boom, you'll go here or here. Um, and we're gonna try and just fold what uh, transfer in half and see what happens. Those ones, comfy. They don't feel um, like you're gonna suffocate in it. So these ones are nice. Uh, very, very nicely done. I like them. We'll see how, how they come up. The first one's pressed amazing. Next up on the large one. Here is the large one. As you can see on my noggin. Yeah, I'll even use the adjusters on this one because there's plenty of room in there. I mean, you can have a big fat head and you'll be fine. So adjusters for sure on this one. And this is the one that you know you'll just have right here. Adult on the full bleed. 
a little smaller, so I bet I'm not. I'm gonna be fine with this one. Yep. So I believe these ones are running a little bit smaller, you know, on this way, but it, they all feel comfortable. They all seem breathable. Um, they they all feel really good. Um, I would not hesitate want for two things. I would not hesitate selling them. I would not hesitate using them because these ones are comfy. Corey picked out what she wanted. We got a couple designs here for kids. I think they're going to turn out just fine. So that's what we have. Any questions before we get to this fun, fun pressing action? Anybody? I'm going to roll through here and see. Um, they would not fit those binders on the little ones. Yeah, because here's the thing to, to, to look at is that if you look, I'm going to try and get close here. This is the large one. You see how thin that is? Now here's the small one, okay? Now, I want to put the two together, and you should be able to see there's quite a bit of difference. You're almost twice as big as that. So that is something that that would be why. Now, I think with this one, I mean, I think you'll be fine. I think this one... Um, I'll try it on Hudson because I think we tried it on him and everything worked out well. So, Renee, shoot me a message tonight. I'll try it on Hudson and that way you can see how, how it fits on a four-year-old's head. Uh, I tried on Hattie. She'll be – she's still five today. She turns six tomorrow. So, we'll, we've got rocking with that. Um, let's see. Anything else here? Uh, boop, 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 boop. There you go. Got to go. All right. Have fun. You enjoy, Kelly, because I know you have a busy, busy thing to do. Thank you for stopping by. All right. So we are going to get started on pressing. So first up, we're going to go with this little guy, right? We're going to go a little sunset, right? Why not? Why not do a little sunset? Because, you know, in this day and age, you know, with everything that's going on, a little sunset never hurt anyone. Now... I have an Epson printer with um, Cobra ink. That is what I use for now. Uh, it's still, everything's still going well with it, but I think I will be swapping out when it does switch over. When you buy these, if you, uh, in the listing <coughs> is a, all the templates. So we have all the templates there that you'll be able to use to, it uh, doesn't matter which program that you're using, you'll have to be able to in, import a template to it to be able to design. They all have a bleed area, so you all know where you need to be with it. They all have a safe zone, so super simple, super easy to do. We didn't want any confusion going on with it. We wanted you to be able to, to just download, add an image, print, press, be done with it. So I really um, like how Aaron put that together. Him and Kylie did an amazing job on that. So if you can just right now give me a, Way to go to those two because they killed it on it, crushed it, knocked it out of the park. It turned out amazing. Way to go, guys, on that. So now I'm going to switch over to this one. We'll see how things sound and work out uh, because I have the, the mute over there. Uh, and, and we'll see because I don't know if I how this will work. Um, we'll go. Let's see. Add that to there. And then if. There we go. Now, can you hear me? I think I can hear myself, so I know that you can hear me. That means I did well on that. So, we're going to come over here. We're going to do a little pressing, right? So, first thing you need, butcher paper. Yeah, you can use other stuff. I use butcher paper. I get it from Sam's. It comes on a roll. You can get one of the rollers to peel stuff off and, and have it there for ease. The way I do mine is pretty, I think pretty ingenious maybe, is I take my sheet, that is, I roll it the back way across my platen here, and it's here. I just pull, done. Why make things hard, right? So we're going to put that there. We have our print here. 
Okay, we have our mask here. Amazing, right? Remember, this is going to be at 375 for 45 seconds. Now I do hit it with a little adhesive, just a little, little spray. I've got a box over here that you can't really see. I know I'm horrible about that, but hey, we're figuring this out. We'll put that on there. Ooh, the adhesive did a big clump. So we'll see how these turns out. It was not the, the greatest of things. I line that up. Boom, you can see that that's lined up right there. Flip it. There we go with this. Fold the paper, put a cover sheet on it, however you want to do it. Bring that bad boy down. And we've got 45 seconds for this. So I said these are 100% poly. They are in stock now. So order today, ship tomorrow. The You can buy them from singles, five packs up to a, to a five pack, 20 pack, and 50 pack. Um, shipping is there. Uh, we'll ship anywhere in, in the US. Uh, Aaron, I don't know about uh, international, so we can ask Aaron that for sure. He will let us know. Uh, with these, uh, pricing is going to change depending on your quantity. So, you know, if you're just buying a single, yeah, the pricing is going to be more on it. But uh, as you purchase more, the price drops down on them. Now, here we are where we got four, three, two, one. We let this come up. We unfold that. You can see from here, just a quick, simple peel and done. Done, done, done. There it is. I bet I can move it in here a little better. As you can see, full bleed all the way around. Everything is there. Vintage is good. Nice, nice, nice. I think we did a great job on that one. So now we'll move over to this other camera. We'll come back and you show that before we kick back over here. I'll check questions. Here's the image on it. I think we did good. Now, if you look at the original image, not super dark. So that does have that um, vintage look in it, kind of what I was going for on it. We'll see how the, the other ones turn out to see if anything changes with it. But so far, that turned out pretty good, I must say. Now, do we have any questions while I take a quick sip? We'll see. It's been a while since I pressed something online. Um, I, I bet it's been six months or so. We'll, we'll see. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll kick over here, 3D. 3D, it sounds, it seems the term used by the folks from China when it comes to anything that's not flat or pressed. Yeah, that's what I was assuming too, because it's got the third dimension to it. I should have just taken a drink while that was going here. Um, I love getting the one from Sam's, the best deal I found it. Yeah, and we've got a Sam's, so when we had a Sam's that was right by us, super simple because it was literally two blocks away. Now I kind of have to make an effort for it, but I will be going there this week for Tomahawk Steaks, which I should probably just live stream during that because that's going to be amazing. Thanks, Jerry. It's been a while since I pressed something live, so we'll be good. We'll be good there. Yeah, that's where I get mine from, Aaron and the Sam's. Great deal on it. You need that. It's beautiful. Well, thank you. I know a guy that can make transfers and get these to you. And like I told you earlier, you don't need a sub press or you don't need a sub printer. You can buy transfers, you have a heat press, you can do everything from there. So you don't need to invest in a printer if you don't want to because you can buy transfers and have it done there. Uh, it's set up to ship worldwide, you just have to pay the shipping accordingly. Free and flat rate shipping is only to the contiguous, yeah, I think I nailed it, US. So good to go there. Continental is what I would say. Uh, looks great, thanks. Thank you, Tina. Uh, any suggestions on the whole scene thing? We're gonna try it, Jerry. So what we're gonna do, that's gonna be the last one. We're going to build up to it. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to do one. That's, let's just do it that first way. We're going to fold it and see what happens and go from there. Mm, neat indeed. All right. So next up, we are going to do, now if you know me, you know that uh, I, are there are certain things that, that I like. And one of those is the sugar schools. Now, it just so happens. I got some sugar schools here, and it just so happens that I have a daughter who likes sugar schools. It has a birthday tomorrow. So, guess what? We're going to make next for her. We're going to make her a mask. Sugar schools. So, we're going to kick back over here. We'll get that.
will take me. And let's get over to the press. So, once again, you know how this works by now, right? You've got paper down because you don't want this transfer ending up on this platen. So you put this down here. Same way we fold it is so that way we have the cover sheet so it doesn't get up here. So like I said, I've got a box over here that I spray my stuff in. You can do it however you want and however you see fit. I do it that way so it doesn't get everywhere and I don't get yelled at because I am not the most organized, clean cut type of guy. I just kind of do stuff and go from there. So you see, I put it on here. I kind of line it up. That side looks like the top to me, north right there. We are gonna put that bad boy on there. We are a little off on it. Actually, this might be the other one. This is the other one. Oh, so I did mess that up. I did indeed mess that up. I had the wrong transfer for the wrong one. Because as you can see, and you'll be able to see it now. So you can see the difference between these two transfers. This one goes more out, that one is straight across. This one, straight across more out. So we're just going to do a, another one of these later. So that way you can see how that one turned out. We're going to do another one of these guys because, hey, I need to show how that one presses. You guys don't care, do you? I mean, you don't care what I press as long as I'm pressing stuff. So let's give it another go, shall we? Of course. We've got that on here. We are going to line that up. Put that guy there, fold that, done, press. Like I said, you are going to press at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, just in case there's some Celsius people out there. I don't know the conversion rate, 375 Fahrenheit. I could probably look up the, the Celsius and, and that, but whatever, uh, 45 seconds. Now these are guidelines, remember, this is what I found has been working for me on our first test batch. So as you get them, that's a good place to start at. That's what's working for my ink system, which like I said, I use a converted Epson with the um, Cobra inks. So, so far, so good. We'll see how this one turns out because here we've only got, you know, six seconds left on it and then we can kick back and see how this one turned out that way. Now, pop that. Oh, look, see, I didn't even flip this one over. Let's see how this one did because I didn't even think about that. See? So, what did we do wrong? We left it this way. We should have flipped it this way. So, let me show you what happens when you do that. Well, let's talk about, about it. it. Because, it's hey, uh, uh, everybody, everybody makes mistakes. And like I said, I don't know, know everything. Here's our image. We pressed. What happened? We pressed it this way, face down, not transfer face up. And that's what needs to happen. So that way it goes through. Now you can do that with some materials, metal, slate, things like that. But with these, no dice. It was a good tester to see what happened, right? Because how else would we know? So that does not work that way. Okay, we learned something. But what that does give us a chance to do is now I'm going to try that... Uh, that sugar school one. We'll grab another one, see what happens. What's your questions, comments, concerns? Let's see who's, who, who caught my screw up before I did. Did anybody? Did anybody? Did anybody? Um, let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, here we could also maybe some help print. The best thing is do not, yeah. Unless this works, if it works, Aaron, great. If not, oh, you just do one side at a time. We're going to see from there. Um, but that's what, yeah. Uh, more coverage, fold in half, and we're going to see what happens there. Which printer? So I have the Epson 7610, 7710, 7610. I have one of those. Uh, it's it, it could go any day now. Uh, this printer now is two two years old, maybe, maybe even three. Uh, and usually you get two to three years out of it before they decide to conk out. That's just part of it. They're disposable printers. For what you're paying for it and what you're getting it, that's part of the game is that it's not going to last forever. It's gonna have some issues. It's gonna reject the cartridges at times. It's gonna stop printing at times. That is what happens when you get an ink uh, that is not made for that printer. You know, you are swapping it out, converting it over to this, and it isn't always gonna get along. Now the new Eco Tanks, from what I'm seeing, you should just be able to put the ink right in the side, not have any issue at all. 
that when this one dies is what I will be going to. And then I can give you a full review on that. For just getting started in sublimation and you're not 100% sure, like I said, purchase transfers. It, it makes it way easier because you don't have the hassle of that. But if you want to, there is nothing wrong with an Epson to get started on it. Epson, you're going to have to, um, they're going to have to have a little more in, in it. You know what I mean? Um, a little more knowledge, know to play with it uh, because it's not going to be perfect. The sawgrass is print, print. That's, that's what it's made to do. You know, you, you design print, you don't have to worry about the stuff. You don't have to worry about any issues like you do the Epson. So if you don't want to hassle, spend the money at the sawgrass. If you don't mind messing things up, messing with it a little, having some issues now and again, the Epson is a great choice. Uh, one of the reasons that I went with it was because due to that cost, uh, it was about a thousand dollars difference between the sawgrass and the Epson because I can do 13 by 19 prints. I wanted that with the sawgrass, I was gonna be up over $1,500. So there's a big difference in it on that. Um, what else, kind of adhesive, uh, Loctite, just Loctite adhesive spray. Uh, customer always want what is not possible. Yes, they do. Martha, glad to see that you could make it. You tried, you failed. Thank you, Theo. There you go. See, I wouldn't mind even going back and reading through some of these. Oh, 190. How about 190.6? Renee, got to run. We will circle back tomorrow. Be bright. I'm going to do a seamed one. That's what we're saving till last. I'm telling you, we're going to do it. Uh, might be able to do it the right way and still lead a breeze and image. That's my plan. We're going to try and see what happens because that's what we do here is see what happens, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, people do it. <laughs> Right. <laughs> then uh, I went with the, the Eco Tank with the Cosmo Ink. And now, Nan, you don't have to worry about any um, registration of cartridges or anything with that, right? You just fill it and, you, and you're good to go. Was well, it difficult to convert ink over? No, it's literally when you buy the conversion kit, you get empty cartridges that have a chip in them. Sometimes they don't always read that chip, and that's where the issue comes in. But they're empty cartridges. Now, if you have an Epson printer, it's difficult to convert because that ink has to come out of there. So the best thing is to buy new, never ever put the uh, original ink in it, go right in sublimation ink, you're fine. I have found that the first couple prints after refilling my cartridges, that it, it tells me that I have the wrong cartridges in, it'll spit out a print, it'll stop. Um, it, it's just, you know, it's that pain that first start. So the eco tank is definitely the way to go because I'm not seeing the issues with that. Uh, anything else here? Yeah. For Epson's not bad for the price at all, George. Definitely, and George has uh, a 44-inch one, so he knows Epson is the is the way to go on it. All right. So next up, we're gonna we're gonna go back to this guy, and we're gonna try it on the we're gonna try it on the the skulls, and be good to go there. So we'll, we'll, kick, we'll kick that off. We'll kick me, and we'll come back over here. So easy enough. We'll get that one out of here. Now I have a trash that's next to me. We'll make sure everything makes it in there. Sheet, paper, or transfer. Here we go. Let's line this up, put it in here. Now I can see that we're cooking with fire. Let's make sure that it's lined up and good. Now let's turn that over so we don't have that issue. Let's fold that in half and let's press. Like I said, these are all available online at montco.biz. Uh, you can buy them singly in five packs, 20 packs, and 50 packs. They will ship out tomorrow if you would like to purchase them tonight. Uh, when you purchase them, you'll also get the template with it free. Template is available in a wide format or a wide selection of formats. So no matter what software that you're using, you will be able to download a template to work for that software. There is a bleed area included with it, your safe area, so you know where you're at, where you need to be with. And sometimes, you know, you just have a good general idea with it. Now, we're almost done here, and let's see how we did on this one. Da, da, da. Pull that. Pull that. And holy buckets. There we go. Let's pull this guy over here, and we'll take a look at it. So you can see up close on this screen because that one, you know, hey, I'm getting there. there. I'm getting there to show how it is. So you can see on this. Now, these, if you can see them, these little speckles guys here, what that is, is from the spray adhesive. The spray adhesive kind of came out 
left chunks of adhesive on it. When that happens, you cannot get all the way through there. So you need to make sure your nozzle is clean when you are doing that. Now you could probably get away with not doing that. Um, it's definitely something to, to think about. But like I said, I haven't, uh, I haven't been playing with it a whole lot and I, that was had a little crap in it and I tried cleaning out the best I could. But as you can see, for the most part, my daughter is not gonna complain about this. Full coverage, end to end, good to go. Awesome on that one. Now, we are going to go back and we are going to give these, where did it go? Where did you go now? We're gonna give this one a go. We're gonna use that. You know what? We're going to use a new transfer just so we can make sure everything is good to go with it. And we're gonna see how that one works out from there. Now we'll kick over here and kick that back here. Take me off here and we're gonna come back over here. Now, like I said, you can use the paper. I would not use the paper again in the same spot because of that ink there. Uh, I would definitely use a, a new piece or in a different section so you don't have to worry about that. Um, that ink residue because that will get on there. Uh, let's let's go with that little a little spritzy poo. That one looks perfect for there. Now we are going to go ahead and put this on here as so. There it is. Everything is covered as you can see. That we're good to go on that. We are going to flip that over. Flatten that, fold, and we'll go from here. Like I said, if, you do, if you're new to sublimation, the reason that we use the cover sheet on the top and bottom is because, as you can see, that ink has to go somewhere, right? It's going on the fabric. If you don't have anything there, I'll show you. It goes on the paper. So it goes on the paper. You didn't have this paper here would go on your platen. So that's why you make sure that you have the cover sheet top and bottom. So it prevents that from happening because that is not fun. Uh, I have had that happen numerous times before where I've ghosted things and not realized it. Uh, I've put hot shirts on other ones. It was a mess. So let's pop this off here and we'll see how this guy turned out. So we'll open up, we'll peel off and ooh la la. La 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 la, look at that. So let's look at something. And we're gonna, we're gonna show you, let's see, remove. Add the stream. So I think we're gonna do a little more testing because you see with this one, same everything, nothing changed, right? Same printer. Same time, same pressure, same temp. And this one has the vintage look to it. It doesn't look, it doesn't look bad by any means. It does have a vintage look to it. Look at this one, same image. So see where I'm telling you, practice and test. Same image, same printer, same sheet of paper. It was cut off of it, but by going from one to the other. You see the difference in it? This is where you're going to have to do testing on your on um, when you get them to double check. Because when our first ones, everything was there. So this, this one here is one that uh, I'm going to have to play with. Because as you can see, the colors came out great on, on this one. For whatever reason, that one just did not like the color. Because you can see the difference in those two right there. So next up is... What else do we have? Oh, we've got like three more left, right? Yeah, we've got three more left. We've got the, the large white one. Then we've got the large black edged one. And then the 3D one that somebody is so very interested in seeing me do. So where are we here on questions? Uh, thanks, George. Coming from you. That means a lot to me. Um, you have taught me to accept my mistakes and move on. While it stinks, I'm getting better and less stressed. Yeah, mistakes happen. Look, you've seen me do that here live. Um, that um, it was uh, ba, 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 ba. it was it was what I did there. Things happen, um, you know. And 
and we'll figure it out. Uh, you know, I, it could have been that I did the wrong side. You know, I, I could have did on the uh, because these have a cotton side, and that's that's probably what I did. But hey, that's why I said that's that's part of that's part of it. You know, you just you just move with it and, and go from there. Uh, let's see if I can find some pictures of mountains of ruined blankets. Yeah, uh, you know that's the thing is you have to you have to ruin things to know. Um, yeah, the black edge ones, absolutely. That is the thing with the black edge ones. You don't have to worry about placement because you have that buffer around it. And I really like how that came out. So you're you're perfect on there. Cool, live action. I know, right? And it even says it. That's what I named it. I'm like, what am I going to name it for you? Jerry, don't be nervous. What's the worst thing that happens? It messes up? Yeah, whatever. Things happen. Mo, thanks. Sweet. Yes, Cindy, I do think it's sweet. Uh, I think you have it on the song. Try pressing on the other side. You know, why don't we give it a go? Aaron has a, a great idea. So let's try, let's find that. So here it is here. We still have that transfer there. Let's give it a go and see what happens, shall we? So we're gonna go back over here. It's a little live action pressing. We'll get that out of the way and we're gonna see what happens. Now, with this, I'm just gonna turn this the other way. We're gonna put that here. We, we're gonna put that guy on this one. We are gonna just flip him here. Make sure everything is flat. Because I can see this one is kind of wonky. Fold the paper. Let's see what happens. Now, I love sublimation. I know I may not, you may not know it, but fabric scares the hell out of me. I, shirts are the demise of me uh, because they're 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 pricey blanks. Um, slates, the quality that you can get with sublimation on the slates and the price point that you can get on them, amazing. So sublimation has so many different products. I think Condi has over 4,000 products that they um, offer for you to sublimate on. So you can create a, an entire product line from it. Or you can just focus on one thing. You could just do mugs. I know plenty of people and that's all they do is just mugs on sublimation. And they kill it with it. So, just about done here, and let's let's see. All right, that's coming up. This is old up. Let's pull it from here, and holy guacamole! Look at that. So, let's come back over here, and we'll show you. Aaron, my friend, you sir nailed it. So, the cotton side. There's the cotton side. As you can see, there's the cotton side. Woohoo, right? There's the correct side. So that is what happens, you know, when you do it on the right side, is you do get the vivid colors that come along with it. You do get the things that are supposed to be there. So way to go on that one. Now, let's hope I don't screw this one up. Now, if you look, I'm gonna try and see if I can show you here. Okay, yeah, that you can kind of see. That is the cotton side, right? You can kind of see how the fabrics go from there. That is the poly side. Looking at it, you can tell and see how they are. So, way to go on Aaron. That was super simple, right? It was something as simple as that, where you just press the wrong side, and, and guess what? You're going to have that happen. So, good job on, on troubleshooting that through here. Absolutely. If you wanted to use HTV on them, I wouldn't see why not. Um, they are white, so you got to think about that. White is going to get dirtier faster. That's just it's just white, so you got to got to think these. Um, Khaki wants me to try them on to see size. Once we're done pressing them all, I will do it again because Khaki, we did it at the beginning, um, and you'll be able to see where everything fits. So stick around there to the end. Also, if you have not um, signed up for it yet, remember. Kick on over here to bit.ly slash OSG sign up, and we'll be giving away a sample pack of these uh, for you to give a try out. Now, if you don't want to worry about the sample pack, you can just go ahead and get online and go over here to right there at the bottom for face covers and go to motco.biz and you'll be able to purchase them there. Small singles on up from there. Let's kick that back over here. Where are we at on uh, any other comments that I may have missed? Um, uh, I want to work so I can learn. <laughs> hey, 
I, I want it to work too. So we're going to, we're going to keep going with it. It's going to be great. Um, yeah, Paul fabrics, like the, the Jersey stuff, man, I, we've done, I remember there was a whole team and I, uh, it was my first real like fabric su sublimation job. Uh, it was for a friend of mine's, um, a friend of mine's team. And he's like, yeah, just give it a go and, and do what you want. And I said, Hey, I'm going to try this out. What do you think of it here? Here's what it is. And he's like, great. Did them all. They looked amazing. We had, you know, colors in the front, colors in the back. It was great. What I forgot to do was after I shook it out and made sure there was no lines in it, and I set it down, and then I would do the next one front and back, and then I would send it over and do it to that, and the heat was still there, residual, and it ghosted on them. Man, that sucked. Uh, so Aaron says the poly versus cotton side is hard to tell. If you fold it over, it's the side that's more white as a polyester. So yeah, actually, after looking at it, I don't know if you can see that on, on the camera, this being the poly side, you can... After you, you know what you're looking at, uh, that explanation was an amazing explanation of it because I can totally see that now. So great, great job there. Um, here it was. If you want to sign up for the drawing, get a sample pack, five masks, there you go. Uh, if you want to set perfect, we got that there. So we're going to do a large one of these and see how it turns out because you can't go wrong with lips, right? So let's see what happens. Now, we'll get this piece of paper out of here. We'll get a new one on here. Like I said, I'm going to give a little spritzy poo poo. We'll bring that here. It'll be just fine. And the spritz, sometimes it doesn't matter because you're going to, um, you're, you're not going to see it. But hey, if, it, if it's on there, you're probably going to see it. So let's make sure we got the right one correct here. We do. This one. Oh, it's right about there. That's right. Don't forget your paper. You'll do that once and you'll never forget it again. I promise. That's bring it down here. That way we can fold it up. See? I didn't want that. So we're going to bring it down here a little. There. Now we are good to go. So remember, these press at 375 degrees for 45 seconds. Now that is the suggested pressing instructions because not every press is the same. We're using a Stahl's Hotronics Auto Clamp. That's what we use here. This is what's working well for us. If you have another press, um, you have something maybe off Amazon or eBay, make sure you're using that laser uh, infrared temp gun to check your temperature to make sure you're at where you need to be. You might have to adjust time, temperature, and pressure. Those are the three things that you need. Let's see what we got from here. Boom. Pull that up. Get that guy off of there. Boom. Woo. Looky, looky, looky. Looky. Where'd the camera go? You even see it? Oh, Aaron was in there. I had that up the whole time, didn't I? You didn't even get to see. You didn't even get to see me. Holy crap. I'm sorry, guys. You didn't even get to see that one. You just got to stare off into space. Uh, and like I said, we'll <laughs> get back there. So there's lips. Oh, man, I'm so sorry you didn't get to see that one. But like I said, we're going to press it again. But lips, 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 pressed well. I'm going to show it on that other camera. Add to stream. stream. Get, Get off, off here. here. I should have noticed the difference between it. There. Boom, boom, boom. Lips, lips, lips. So if we need to, maybe we'll just press another one for it because we have it. Remember, your image is going to mean the world to your finished product. If your image quality that you use is not good, Remember, garbage in, garbage out. So the better quality image that you have, the better quality um, print that you're going to have. So we just might have to redo that. Next up, somebody had said, hey, why don't you do some glitter? And I think that's something that we're going to shoot for next week. Uh, I'm going to show you eco-printed glitter and sublimation glitter. Now, I used to sub on glitter all the time. Then once we got the eco-solvent printer back there, so we got Dirk back there, we just did it that way. Way simpler, 
one of the issues with that is um, on the uh, the mask. The mask sucks to pick up glitter. It's not picking up little little things. So uh, we're gonna try and see what we can get ourselves. What kind of trouble we can get into here with a little faux glitter and see what we can do. So now let me go ahead and add to the stream here. Kick myself off and let's go and see what we can get. Now, what's the first thing we got to do? Make sure we put down our protective paper. Like I said, if you missed it earlier, we just get this on a roll from Sam's. Super simple, super cheap, super effective. Oh, yeah, see, you hear that? See, it's making all kinds of. Now, this one won't be as bad to tell because it's got a bunch of different stuff on it. So, we'll put that bad boy on there. Now, we'll make sure that we get the correct side on it, right? Because which one was it? It's the white ones, the full ones. So those ones were good. Okay. So we will line up our image. We will flip it. Everything is good, right? Everything is good there. We cover it. Let's go ahead and press. Now, don't forget, um, when it comes to pressing, everything is different. You know, that's what I was talking about before is each press is different. Um, and sometimes I've even noticed that, that the pressure, um, as you, you work, as this is going up and down, your pressure might change a little because of the continuous with it. This is, you know, as this moves, I, know you can, I can't really see it, but as, this, as you're opening and closing this, here's the little dial that goes on the press, give you your pressure. So that can adjust over time, just on itself, just from the opening and closing. So if you notice something start to be off, just pay attention to it. Um, hey, you said, you're, you're gonna run into issues, you're gonna press things upside down, things happen. Let's see what we got here, boom, pop that up. We got that off of there. Peel that there and great googly moogly. Look at that go. Let's bring it on over. Show you what we got here. Now, as you can see, here's what we got. Bully Maroon's cheer. A little maroon glitter, a little silver glitter. That's what we have. So perfect on that. Looks good all the way around. I'm going to definitely show that to our cheers and see what they kind of think about that. So that one turned out well. Now, the one that everybody has been waiting for is the 3D one, right? That's one we're waiting for, 3D. So what do you think? Which way should we go first with it? Should we just try and fold it? Or do we want to try separate images first? You tell me. I totally want to fold it and see what happens because I'm a risk taker. Remember, on the folded ones, the uh, metal binding is north, that's the top. So remember that when you're lining up your image, if you have something that needs to, to go on uh, from there. Where aware oh, is the image for this? Because I printed one, but that is not the, the right one, is it? Nope, okay. So the one I had, uh, I downloaded it, I had watermarks on it, and so I went down to download the other one, and I downloaded the same one again. So, oh well, we're gonna see how this one turns out, and you know, sometimes you run into that. Anyone have any questions before we, we get going? Jerry says all at once, that's what she's all about. So Jerry, this one's for you. We're gonna do it all at once. Let's, Let's see what happens. Now, remember, we got ourselves a new piece of paper. We got ourselves an image. We are going to put our image north. That's the top. We're going to put that bad boy right there. Actually, right about there because I think this will fold over just fine. We are going to fold this. And we're going to see what happens, right? Because I'm going to turn it this way since I can use the paper and go there. So, all right, kids, let's see what happens. So, same thing 375 
45 seconds. Let's see what happens. You excited? What do you think is going to happen? You think it's going to turn up? Tell me. Just let me know what you think. And remember, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. LiveOSG.com, you can find us at. FatDadWholesale.com, you can find us at. Montco.biz is where you can buy these amazing blanks that we have here. Come into the OurSuccessGroup.com family, and this is the type of things that you're going to get from us. We're going to do our best to give you as much information as we can because we want you to succeed. So here we are in our five-minute countdown. Ooh, let's see what happens. Let's see. All right. So we pop that up. We took that off. There's one. All right. No bueno. So that, my friends, will come over here. And we'll show you on. So while it worked on that side, wah, wah, wah. So what I think what we'll have to do is we're going to try and line this back up. We're just going to flip it and see, because I think we can get rid of that scene. Faux show, kids. So we're going to open this back up. Since we know where it was and we know where it pressed at. We're going to line her back up there. We're going to fold it over because everything should be right in that same spot because of the pressure we can see. We are going to turn the paper this way. We're going to try not to burn ourselves because that thing is hot. So one of the things, yep, we flipped over there. And we're going to see if we can get that, rid of that dirty, dirty seam. Because I really don't think, oh, crap. Yep, we're going to see if I don't have another transfer. So I have to go over there to print it. So we'll see how this one turns out. Like I said, um, we have went through, you know, quite a, a few different ones to make sure that we could get you guys a quality product. Because the last thing that we want is, is the same thing that I ran into when I bought a bunch of masks. And they were not all the same. Um, they were same order, same placement, uh, and they were not the same. Another place we thought we were going to go good. They never came in, um, so it was just not fun. Let's see how this comes out this way. So, da 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 da, da 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 da, boom! All right. So here's the trick. That's the trick, kids. That is the trick. These, as we kick back over here. I'm going to find another, another one, to, one do. to do. Whoa. I have a producer now. Yeah, I think. So. Now that's hot. Ooh, that's hot. But look at that. And remember, we messed this up because, uh, you know, I checked it to see from there. So you would put it in there, fold your transfer around it, flip it, and then you would be good to go because it's going to do it. Now, what we could do is I don't think, I think this design is way too big. I'm going to see. I'm going to see if this design is, is way too big for this. Because I have an, another one here. Yeah, that's too big. Let me just try that. But you can see there's nothing there, right? So I think winner, winner, chicken dinner. A little bit right there at the bottom right there a little bit right there at the bottom so i think we we did good on that all right so now you want to see what they look like on and we'll start from the beginning of where we had stuff you'll see where we came from it we'll answer any questions so put in those if you have those I said you can find these at montco.biz uh, you can buy them individually on up to 50 packs so we're good there I'm going to go ahead and, and put these kind of in order so we can see. We'll show our uh, mistakes of what we did. Oh, wait. Yeah. Where's the other one? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Got them all, right? Do I have an extra one here? Oh, yeah, because I did this one. So, yeah, I did have an extra one. All right. So, from the youth. We have the youth ones here. So youth ones, remember, they have a 
pull for a filter. Full bleed all the way around. Amazing colors. I use an Epson printer. You can see that. Here's a youth one on me. That's not going to work. My nose and stuff's too big. But there's that one. Beautiful colors with it on that. Next up is the youth large, your youth small, whatever we want to, whatever we want to call it. Uh, this one is the black edged one because the other black edged one, yeah, we messed up. So black edged one here, you can see there's two sides, poly cotton. Remember, don't pray up and screw that up. Here we go. That, that one I can't even, I can barely fit on my, yeah. So that one would <laughs> kind of sort of maybe work for an adult, but for a kid, amazing colors through there. On the adult ones, black edge. There you go from here. Now, these ones, so that we have, let me, let me just make sure I, uh, I'm there with it. They have the adjusters for it, these little guys. Slide through. I'm going to show you one so you can see it. These ones have a small hole on one side, large hole on the other side. So it'll slide through here, come out that side, and we'll hold them for you. These ones, I think, can be good. Mowing chair. Woohoo! Right there. Next up is the full bleed ones. Full bleed. I look pretty good with that, huh? Man, I do look good. I should just wear this one around. So there's full bleed. As an adult, you can see how it fits. Goes through there. Last, but certainly not least, is going to be the 3D one. Now, remember the 3D one, it has the metal nose piece in on the north side. So that one, remember, it also has pockets as well for the filter. This one, super comfy, still a little warm. So we got that going for us. But look at that. Warm that in there for you. Put that wherever you want. Form good. And you can see the only spot we had there. And who's to say that if we would have just flipped it right over, that wouldn't have been there. Because we tried to adjust it and go from there. But I think that turned out pretty, pretty good, if I do say so myself. Now, one thing on these is I, as I just noticed. You see that? So it'll sublimate on, on the ear lips. Just saying. Just, you know, just so you know. I didn't even realize that until I saw it. Now the corner of my eye is up here. This one, all the way, because, you know, we had it there. So that is something to know. Now, that's it. That's what I got. Woo! Done. Rock roll. What do you have for me? What kind of questions do you have for me? Anything? Did you learn something? Is this good? I'm going to scroll through here and see it. And then we'll uh, we'll go from there. What's, what is this? Uh, let's see. Or they enjoy watching me work. That's pretty impressive. Why, thank you. Uh, I kind of, I kind of know what I'm doing at times. Uh, you know, it's been a, a sublimation. You know, is a is one of those love or hate things. And so far, you know, today it's loving me. I'm, we'll, we'll just go from there. Missy, get it out of the box. Like, why? You invested how much money into a printer and having it sitting there in a box for what reason? I mean, I could have just given you an empty box and you could have just given me the cash for it. It'd be the same thing, right? So you bought it, use it, take it out of the box, screw some things up. You're going to do that. Buy some masks, screw those up. I'm just saying, you can make tons of money with that printer. Get it out of the box. I expect to see something printed by the end of the week because there's no reason not to. Jerry, how would you think? How'd, all at once, how do we do there? Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, yeah, put, um, put the heat tape over the straps and it won't transfer. There you go. That's how you get it there. Sum the straps for people better than me. No, I think if you do your, your print big enough, you know, especially if you're going to try the all over method, Aaron, you just make your box that big all the way over there and just, because you're going to, you know, waste that paper anyway. So why not give it a go? All you can do is. 
they screw it up, right? That's that's what you go. Uh, what else do we have here? What's the other black youth? Uh, those were the same. So we've got this one. So there's two youth youths. There's what, there's what we got. Full bleed. Wait, full bleed. See when I looked at the camera. <laughs> full bleed is this one. Black edged. Let me kick this out of the way so you can see. Is that one. So do all of them come with pockets? Okay. The full bleed ones, pocket. See? Pocket, pocket, pocket. One side open all the way down. Full bleed adult. See? Pocket, pocket, pocket. All the way down. Two rimmed ones, or the two black edge ones. Do not have pockets, but these ones, excuse me, are triple layer. Now, the layers consist of uh, two layers of poly, and then the middle layer is cotton. So inside of it is a layer of cotton. So 100% poly on the outside, front and back, 100% poly inside layer to it. And then on the 3D mask, the 3D mask has a pocket that goes all the way through for a filter. So let's see, we got that comment. Uh, anything else here? All right, so if, if Aaron's ready, I think you know, we're saving the most you know, important thing for, for last, and, and it's Aaron. Aaron's gonna you know, choose a, a winner here. So you know, we can answer all your questions, we can do that, but we're gonna let Aaron pick a winner throw it up on here. And like I said, if you have not entered, go ahead and hit uh, over to bit.ly slash OSG sign up and that will get you on it. Now, I want to thank you for, for spending your, your Tuesday with me. You know, we're, we're an hour and 15 minutes. And to me, I feel like we just started. Um, I, I really enjoy this part of it and I hope you took something away from it. I, I hope I provided a little knowledge maybe showed you something new, um, at least gave, gave you, you know, a, a kick in the butt to get started. They said, you don't need a sublimation printer to, to do this. You can order transfers. Order transfers from myself, Aaron, as soon as his gets there, I'm going to send all my transfers there to, to him on the bulk side of things because he's going to have a big printer. It's just going to make more sense. So he's going to take care of that. And that should be coming soon. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, they're coming there. But there, you have a heat press. If you have a heat press, there's no reason that you can't be doing this. If you're just doing um, HTV, this is a great thing to, to be able to add to it. Now remember, with sublimation, 100% poly is the best. Uh, and if you're new to sublimation, you don't know what it is. It, sublimation uh, is a type of ink, print on a piece of paper, heat activated, turns into a gas, dyes the fabric or the substrate. Now, um, for fabric, 100% poly works best. Can you use a 50-50 blend? Absolutely. Is it going to give it a vintage washed out look? Absolutely. So remember that when you're doing it. Now, as far as other substrates, mugs, I mean, mugs, you know, mugs, mugs are, mugs are killer jobs to be able to do. You can do some great work with mugs um, and it's super simple to do. So mugs are a great thing. Um, slates, another great thing. Memorial slates, those are something that are, are amazing. Uh, anytime you do anything with that for weddings, anniversaries, memorials, you know, you can, you, they are very high end. Now the blanks are expensive on those. So, you know, you're gonna, I think our, our first one, maybe 50, 60 bucks in, in blank slates to make sure that we got everything done right. And just part of it, you know that. And then after you have it, you keep uh, a log so you know when it comes down to, hey, I'm pressing these again. Let me look and see. This is what I did for slates. This is where I'm good to go at. So you're fine. Um, with mugs, now I am going to be buying a new mug press uh, because my last one, it decided to, it was the first one I got, super cheap. Uh, let's see what we can do with it. And it, uh, it did well. It, I, I got to know it. It got to know me. We were decent friends. Uh, and then one day I got pissed off and just didn't want to work correctly. Um, and I have probably, oh, maybe a dozen or so of these where we're trying different things. And, and the thing was, as you get close, you, you know, this you can, can't see it, but it was ghosting. 
uh, you know, and it was like trying to figure out the time pressure, how things was, something just wasn't acting right. So uh, I bet I got, I mean, hell, I've got uh, three of those here on my table from, from testing. Uh, but once you have it dialed in, boom, 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 you can bang out mugs and, and do really, really well at it. Okay, over to your comments. Let me see what I have here. Um, um, it can't be any worse than DTG. I don't know. We're going to find out about Aaron. Aaron's going to chronicle, he's going to catalog and chronicle that because uh, that's going to be a fun new thing. I can't wait to, to see how that all turns out there. Uh, Aaron got that in there. Jerry, you learned so much. Thanks. That's that's what I want to do. Now, I want to be able to, to help people learn and we want to be able to keep it going on from there. Um, try to be as detailed as possible on the site. Uh, but let us know if you have any other questions. Absolutely. So if you go to montco.biz, uh, you'll that's where you'll find all these. Uh, you'll find all the information on size, pricing instructions, templates. Everything is there on the website, so you're able to buy that. Uh, Nan, great question. Are we able to buy extra filters? At this time, no. Uh, we are working on it, though, to get the extra filters in. So that way we will, as soon as we know that we can have them, we will let you know. Like I said, there are two layers in there. There are some, uh, you know, some other things out there that you can use as filters. Do I feel confident in those? No. Um, do I mean yes? They, there are things that are made for it. Uh, in fact, here are the filters. As you can see, we'll go ahead and show you one of the filters. There's two pack that comes with it. There's the filter. Nice little guys. They slide right inside. Just like so, and ta-da, oh, there's a filter in there. So that is what you get from there, and the filters with it. Now, on each one, uh, like I said, the, the black edge ones are the three-layer ones uh, that has two layers of 100% polyester on the front side and back side, and then a 100% collie, 100% uh, collie. There's no dogs in the middle of this, I promise you. There's not a collie. The middle of this there's a hundred percent cotton that is in the middle of this on the sublimation one the full bleed ones two filters per pack on this um they're a hundred percent cotton um on the the, the face side outside is the hundred percent polyester um do you make sure you that you're good to go on that um, filter size three, like three and a third inches and three and a quarter, something like that, like four and a quarter that you can see the, the face cover there. Now, remember, these face covers are not uh, medical grade, but you know, they're still encouraged by the CDC. This is something great, uh, you know, to just add it to another product lineup to you. The press really well, you've seen that 375, 45 seconds, uh, medium to firm pressure, and, and you're good to go. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can find the templates online for it. Uh, and I think we, you know, we have everything there that that what we need. If there's anything more that you have any more questions, please, please let us know. And we'll do our best to to get those off of there for you. Um, Aaron's going to check the list and randomize it. We got to give him five minutes. So I don't know where our five minute countdown is. If I have, you know, four minutes left or three minutes left, or two minutes left or one minute left, I don't know. So he will tell me by either popping on, waving, going to maybe he'll give me the the double guns or, or something cool like that. Um, you know, maybe we'll see a, a good, a good, a good to go. You know, we'll, we'll see, you know, we'll, we'll go. Uh, let's see. Like, yep. Oh, look, you answered all this. Uh, pick a number between one and 27. Did you already do this? Do they have to be present to win? No, I don't think they have to be present. I think we're going to give it to anybody because maybe, um, how a number between one and 37. So what do you say? Uh, are we eight? How are we able to, if we wanted to, hypothetically draw from everybody that is here. I don't even know how that's possible. We're on four channels. So I, I'm not 100% sure. Do we tell everybody to comment me? And then we just, you figure that out because it was your idea, not mine. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure the best way to do that because I know one sample pack for sure, but hey, I think we could, uh, I think we could do, we could do that for, for sure. Um, no dogs were harmed in the making of these. That is absolutely correct. No dogs. Uh, 1 to 37? Do I still need to pick a number between 1 and 37? Like 23? Okay, 23. 23. Whatever. That sounds like a, a good, easy number. Um, you could use disposable face masks inside the filter. Yes, 
because the size of these, you can see that that opens really wide. So you can put that in there. You could put you could put that in there. So a good cover for that. Excellent, excellent idea, Sandy. You are good to go. Uh, I did pick a number on that. Ha 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 ha! I know, Kaki. Yeah, and the only reason I, I thought uh, Mr. Jordan was because on Sunday night on uh, ESPN was thirty for thirty, and it was you know the um, was that ninety eight the the baseball home run race, um, you know, and M M McGuire and Sosa. And well, in one of the spots on there, you know, there was Jordan on there. And it, it just came to—I don't know why. It just made me think of it because I, I'm not the—I'm not the—the the greatest. Um, uh, I'm not the the greatest. Uh, you know, whatever. Because I doubt number twenty-three was um, what the winner was Mr. Jordan because that would be amazing, right? So let's see. Let's see who who won and who got it, and and we'll go from there. You let me know when you're ready. You popping on? You telling me? Whatever. I'll make it simple. I can't see. That is your birthday, the 23rd. The 23rd of this month is Corey's birthday. She will be 29 again. And uh, we actually have our daughter's sixth birthday tomorrow. Uh, as soon as I get done with this, I have a sign to make for the yard and to make sure everybody comes by and honks and that. I think uh, maybe Aaron's trying to come in. Do you want me to bring you in, Aaron? No? Are you just going to pick something and put it on there and you're just going to tell me the winner? Look at that. Our, oh, look at that. Vanessa is the winner. And I don't even think she's here, is she? She's probably making some cupcakes or cookies or something else. Um, ooh. Ooh. They went away for a second. That's kind of spooky and scary. I would have had to jump over to that one. Back up, baby. So, Vanessa, you are the winner. Uh, you will be notified. Uh, because I believe we need to get your shipping address in there. So we'll send that out to you. Uh, look for a message. Uh, as soon as this is done from here, I will send you a message to get you your information. Uh, so that way we can get that to Aaron, and we'll get that shipped out tomorrow, Aaron, I believe. I think so. So if nobody has anything else, uh, thank you for spending an hour and 20 minutes with me tonight. Uh, I hope you learned something. If you want more things like these, uh, let us know. Uh, I'm all about uh, helping, you know, do these things and go from there. I really, uh, I, I really miss this part of it. it. It was fun to do. SpongeBob missed by two numbers. <sighs> SpongeBob would have been amazing. Um, but like I said, this was great. Um, thank you for, for spending time with us. Uh, like, subscribe, do that. Hit the buttons down below. Ring the bell. Do all that stuff the kids say. Uh, thank you for getting... Uh, live OSG over our 100 members, so we're good on that. And go to montco.biz. Let me pop that up here for you. Oh, you can see right there at the bottom, right there at the bottom, to, uh, face coverage to order. Order tonight. They ship out tomorrow. Uh, maybe Aaron will give you a little blow kiss on them and say thank you very much. So we got that. You guys have a great night, and we will check you uh, tomorrow for a Q&A with TNA. So don't forget to submit your questions. That We already got quite a few uh, on the DTG. So uh, that's probably what we're going to be talking about tomorrow night is the direct -to garment printer. Uh, you guys have an amazing night. Thank you for showing up, and we will see you next time. Thank you. Or something.